Hello friends, I am Rob the Dungeon Tutor, also Omnisci from YouTube, and today I am answering question for RPG A Day 2022. The question for today, this being the 16th of August, the 16th question is, what would be your perfect game? Perhaps betraying a little bit of burnout, because I've been playing very seldomly. I mostly run the games. I guess me playing would be nice, but honestly, I do... I, I just love the feeling of, of game mastering. So, I guess my idea of the perfect game would be to have all of my friends there. And that's a big table. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, uh, like, this big gathering. Okay. And, like, there would be food... And this would be in some sort of neutral area that could contain all my friends. It would be like a party. But I'm running a game. And it's in this great city. And all my friends can can be there. All the ones who gaming have touched and they'd want to play. And they can take turns doing things in the city. This big, big open world city that I have on Hosley. Um, nice, nice place. Nice, nice city. Um... It would be my answer to cities like Greyhawk and, and uh, Waterdeep and stuff. Uh, that's be on my world of uh, Antir. And uh, Hosley's a nice place, but the thing is, I had a fair amount of detail on it to the point where the players could just kind of get lost in, you know, finding where to, uh, where to stay. And... Maybe looking in, poking into details, and finding adventure along the way. But it would be this this long day of gaming where they can eat, and they can talk to each other, and they can play my game. And, you know, occasionally I would hand off. I'd have, like, a couple of my best game master friends, like uh, my friend Greg, or my friend Roger, who could also run parts, too, as well as play. We'd just swap out whoever would want to run some stuff for people, and it would all work out without anybody fighting or feeling slighted or pressured into 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 doing something they didn't want to do uh, as far as running and playing and stuff. Um, that would be nice. Um, because realistically, the adventure and the thrill is, is still fine. But I'd love to play in a game that really immersed me. That let me feel like I could be my, my character for a while. I really am kind of just aching for that. And I know for some people that's contrary. They want to get to the adventure. They want to get to the dungeon. They want to get the treasure and all the experience and everything. But, yeah, that comes. You know, that there's certainly times for that. But I think I'd love to just play in a game that feels like a world. That uh, I can talk to NPCs and you know, say cool things and do cool things and, you know, the spot, having the spotlight but also sharing it with my friends. That's something I would like to do. So that's my example of the perfect game. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to give you a module that's better than any other one that, I, that I'd that i loved. I mean, I would love to play the Red Star Rising as a player, but uh, Timeline just doesn't see that ever happening, really. Um... And now that I've run it, I you know now I know all the secrets. So that's yeah, kind of there. Um, I will say that it was a real thrill playing with the tabletop misfits, and uh, getting to actually play a short bit the tail end of the adventure that I wrote, a strangely gooey holiday. That was really cool getting to play with James and and the others. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I would really love to do something like that again, even though I'm not much for remote playing. I would definitely love to do that. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's my ideal. Being with people, playing with people, um, running most of the time, but also getting a chance to drop in and play in character and such. That would be pretty cool. The game, probably Dungeons & Dragons, although right now I'm getting pretty burned out on Dungeons & Dragons. It's not... It'll always have a special place for me, but right now I don't really want to touch it. 
<laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to you, but um, I, I, I enjoy my time with Dungeons and & Dragons, and I look forward to playing. But, you know, right now, if I could, I would take one of those campaigns and I would switch to something like, you know, Astonishing Swordsmen and Sorcerers of Hyperborea, or uh, Burning Wheel. Something, you know, completely different system. Um, Savage Worlds, another diff different system. For the novelty, partially, but also because, like I said, you know, no system is perfect, and Dungeons & Dragons isn't perfect either. And I would like to try something in the areas that Dungeons & Dragons just kind of falls apart on. So, But that's my answer to the question, even if it's not definitive. It's kind of hopefully relating the experience that I would hope for. Uh, what I crave, what I'd love to see, and uh, sadly, what's probably not going to happen. But, uh, no, that's, again, we try for perfection, we rarely hit it. But thanks for joining me. I am Rob the Dungeon Tutor and Omnisci, and uh, thank you for joining me. If you have an answer to this question yourself and you want to uh, make a video, make a blog, please do, and link it to this video if you could so that I could see what you do and it would be really cool if you want to write a comment uh, or something what would your perfect game be that would be great i'd love to love to hear it uh if you would want to send a message on say post on my dungeon tutor group uh you know i'd answer directly maybe it'll even inspire a video who knows but until next time my friends thanks for joining me i am rob the dungeon tutor and i'll see you the next time with any luck tomorrow uh for another rpg a day until then farewell